In this video, I want to take a quick moment and talk about sharing a FileMaker solution between your desktop computer or laptop and other users or other devices such as an iPad or iPhone or maybe another office worker who has their own laptop. Now to get things rolling here, I'm going to need a FileMaker solution on my local computer and the one I'm going to use is FM Starting Point which is a free starter solution that is available online. When people start off using a FileMaker solution, they typically install it on their local device, like an iPad or laptop computer. Of course, the great benefit and the true power of the FileMaker platform is collaborative sharing between yourself and the rest of your team. Whether your team is in the office or out across the internet, FileMaker is exceptionally good at sharing a solution with all these users simultaneously. Now a local file that runs on your laptop or iPad makes for very fast performance on your device. Of course the downside to this is that sharing a local database with other users or other devices can be a bit of a challenge to set up if you've never done it before. But once you've seen it done and you understand the processes, it's a snap. So let me walk you through this. If you have a local file on your desktop or laptop computer, you can share that file on a local area network by going up under File, down to Sharing, over to Share with FileMaker Clients, and bring up the FileMaker Network Settings dialog. Right here, you're going to turn on the network sharing. Now in 99% of the cases, people are going to have a dynamic IP address. Now this is a little bit of technical speak here but every device on the internet has an internet address and every time you restart your device a device with a dynamic address will have a new address so every time I restart this computer here this address here will change and that's what makes web servers and FileMaker servers special is that every time you restart those systems on the internet their addresses stay the same they have what is called a static IP address but in this case I have a laptop computer and I have whatever address my machine got for me when it logged on automatically to the internet. Now I have my FileMaker solution right here, it's FM starting point. I'm going to turn on access for all users right here. I'm going to select OK. And now this FileMaker solution is sharing itself on my local area network. So let me go ahead and show you. I have my iPad right here. I'm going to select FileMaker Go right here it's going to fire up. I can see that I have several options here. I have recent, device, and hosts, and I can press the host button and automatically FileMaker Go scans my local area network and sees my server. I can click on my laptop right here and then select FM starting point that's being hosted. So as you can see, my iPad is actually accessing my hosted copy of FM starting point. The copy of FM starting point does not live on the iPad it's simply accessing it temporarily across the network to the laptop computer. So I can go over here to my contacts database and I can put in Tom right here and I can jump back. As you can see there's no update yet on the screen but if I click out right here that causes FileMaker to save the change. The screen over here instantly updates. As you can see that's a live link between these two files. Now this is what FileMaker calls peer-to-peer -peer sharing. We're not using FileMaker Server, we're simply using FileMaker Pro to share with other peers. Now these peers are either other copies of FileMaker Pro that are in the office running on a Mac or Windows computer, or they're copies of FileMaker Go that are running on an iPhone or iPad on the same network. Now if I was really clever, I could set up my laptop or desktop computer with a static address and then maybe I could access this database out on the internet from my iPad. But as it stands right now, this iPad access is limited to only while I'm in the office, which means that if I leave and go to Starbucks, for example, and get a coffee, I'll be outside my company's network and I'll no longer be able to access or see my hosted FileMaker solution. Because of the inherent limitations of peer-to-peer -peer sharing with FileMaker Pro, my team at RC Consulting generally doesn't recommend the use of peer-to-peer -peer sharing with your database unless you need to put together a quick ad hoc network on a temporary basis. We recommend that users of FileMaker 
who share their databases simply just move up to FileMaker Server. Moving up to FileMaker Server eliminates a lot of headaches and hassles and provides a great deal of robust support, reliability, encryption, automatic backup protection, and now with Server 14, support for accessing your databases with Android devices. All the things that you would expect from a robust, professional server product. So here you can see that we've dived into FileMaker Server, and this is the administrative console. On the left hand side of the screen, I have various options I can select, and then that allows me to look at the databases that I have running on this FileMaker Server, or the users that are connected to this FileMaker Server. To access your database anywhere on the internet, all you need to do is take your FileMaker database and host it on a properly configured FileMaker server. And of course FileMaker server would have a static IP address. Part of a proper server setup would also be to ensure that that server has additional hard drives for robust quality backups. As you can see by our schedule screen here, we run a number of backup copies around the clock, both on our solid state drives and also on our external backups, which we can run via Dropbox. The whole point is that if you want to access your database in a shared collaborative environment, you need to set it up using a copy of FileMaker Server. Now you do have a couple options in how you leverage FileMaker Server. You can purchase a copy of FileMaker Server yourself and run your own server. If you have mission critical databases that need to be accessed by your in-office staff, it may be best that you actually have your own FileMaker Server running on a dedicated computer that's located within your office. Now this machine could still be configured with a static IP address that would allow remote users to access a hosted database. An alternative would be to rent space from a FileMaker hosting service where you can actually park your FileMaker solution on an existing FileMaker server that's located up at a data center. Now some users actually have their own FileMaker servers and they actually co-locate or put those servers not in their local office but in a data center as well. Installing your FileMaker server at a data center is going to provide you with redundant electrical power and redundant internet connections, which could come in handy in a case of a power outage or other internet outages. Before I let you go, I want to show you real quick how you can take a local FileMaker solution running on a Mac or Windows computer and post it up to a FileMaker server. Now I already have a FileMaker server that we're running but say for the sake of argument that I have a local solution right here that I want to share with the rest of my team. Well, how do I quickly and easily get that put up on FileMaker Server? I can upload that FileMaker solution by going up to the menu bar at the top and pressing the Share icon and then selecting Upload to FileMaker Server. You'll need to select your FileMaker Server from an available list of FileMaker servers. Of course, if your FileMaker Server was set up, you would have already put its IP address in here. You have to input your name, and password and then proceed with the process of installing. FileMaker Pro can talk to FileMaker Server automatically, upload a FileMaker solution and have it hosted in just a few moments. This is really a quick and easy way of getting your FileMaker solution posted up to a FileMaker server. So to wrap things up, as you can see the FileMaker platform excels at collaborating with groups of users who want to share information, whether those users are running on Macs or on Windows computers whether they're on desktops or laptops, or whether they're on iPhones or iPads, or whether they're even using the new WebDirect technology that is accessed from the FileMaker server itself. The FileMaker platform provides a rich collaborative environment that is driven by FileMaker server. FileMaker Pro is a software you're going to use to access the database on your desktop or laptop computer. It's also a software that allows you to customize and make changes to that database. So FileMaker Pro is a critical piece as well. FileMaker Go is the dedicated software designed specifically for the iPhone or iPad. So FileMaker Server for hosting solutions in your office or out on the internet, FileMaker Pro for your desktop or laptop computers, and FileMaker Go for your iPhone and iPad. And finally as a third option, once your database is actually hosted with FileMaker Server, you do have the option for accessing the database with FileMaker's WebDirect technology. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to get going with FileMaker and what direction to go when you're ready to collaborate with your team whether on desktop, laptops, 
iPhones or iPads.